Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to review some random die cast I have. I'm just kind of going to group everything together but we got some Johnny Lightning, we got Jada, we got uh, some Disney cars and then a few various uh, brands of die cast. Let's get started. Alright so first up we're going to start off with this Jada. This is their Dub City Old School. So this stuff's going to be from around the 2006 era. You're looking at the 62 Volkswagen bus. Awesome casting. Jada Dud or uh, Jada made um, back in that era very cool castings, um, like souped up versions like this. So this is the perfect year of Volkswagen van. As you can see, it's slammed to the ground. It's an all metal. Well, it's not metal body. Um, these typically do have a plastic base, rubber tires. But uh, that just looks absolutely stunning. Joe's Diecast Shack. Very cool. I love the older uh, Jada stuff. I pick it up anytime I can get it. Uh, there's quite a few uh, pieces to this set. So Wave 3 of 2006. Um, I probably have almost all these vehicles. If there's anything you want to pause on there. But very cool casting. Alright, now next we got their for sale um, series 63 Volkswagen bus pickup. So excellent condition, needs tires, good interior, will sell fast. Well, it's pretty cool. If I could find this vehicle like this, I'd buy it for sure. So you can see it's got the rusty look to it. Shaved door handles, that's pretty cool. It's slammed to the ground with dualies. All, all of them will be rubber tires. Very cool. This bed um, extends as well, so you can put a car on top of it. It will pull out. But uh, absolutely awesome. All metal body, plastic base, and rubber tires. See the for sale sign in there. Well, how much they're asking? 30, 31 something. Seems like a lot for a little rusty truck, but can't find these things around anymore. Very, very cool. This will be from around the same era. Um, some other vehicles that are in this set. I have this um, truck actually in a large scale. 2007. So if you um, like this sort of stuff, um, you can definitely pick it up second hand. Um, there's quite a bit of it around actually. Alright, this one here is a brand new release. So this is the Metals Die Cast. Jada JDM tuners and this is going to be the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR I'm not a huge fan of the import type of cars like this but this car actually looks stunning I'll give them credit on that they did an absolutely amazing job with the detailing on this it's got a good stance nice and low rubber tires metal body very cool. It looks just like you see in that picture. Just absolutely stunning. It's hard to see in the package, but it is an absolute stunning vehicle to look at. I'm sure there's lots of import fans out there that will be loving this vehicle. Very, very nice. You can see here there's a few of them in this set. They didn't have any of these other ones here. Um, the Datsun uh, here is pretty cool. The Toyota. You got the Supra. Those are pretty neat uh, vehicles. I'm sure a lot of people will be collecting these. This is, like I say, brand new. I just picked up. This was the only one they had, but this one here was would probably be the one I'd pick irregardless. So very, very nice. Um, again, that's that's a new release item in the stores. All right, we got one green light vehicle here. It's the Club V Dub series, 1968 Volkswagen Type Two T2. Camp Mobile. Very cool. Very, very cool. Got a little bit of bumper trouble here though. But uh, graphic works pretty cool. Flower power. These parts here, nothing moves. It's just as you see it. But uh, pretty neat casting. This one's been out for quite a while. This is probably about uh, this time last year, I think, is when this stuff was kind of out. 
16 yeah so about this time last year is when these would have been out but pretty neat if you haven't seen them all right we'll move on to some johnny lightning quite like their stuff i don't come across it a lot but this is the coca-cola this is obviously sprite but part of that uh, coca-cola lineup release three and of course it's a volkswagen van can't have too many of those can you but nicely detailed Silver on blue, just like you'd see on the can. You got the sprite along the side. These are an all metal casting, rubber tires. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should be an all metal, as far as I know from Johnny Lightning, but I don't collect a ton of it, so I could be wrong on that. But very, very nice. You can see both sides of the vehicle there, which is pretty cool. All the vehicles. One thing I will say, I collect a lot of Volkswagen stuff and Coca-Cola, that sort of stuff. You don't see a lot of Sprite, that's for sure. Um, I have actually two of these, I was lucky enough to find two, but you really don't see anything else. Um, even in their new stuff, they don't do any other types of their pop. They only really do Coca-Cola. They do the one, um, I can't remember what the other one is, the black and red one, but that's about it. And this here is actually a little plastic piece. If you were to take this out, it's a separate piece that you can put for a display, but pretty cool. I was happy to add that to the uh, collection, even though I already got one. All right, Johnny Lightning again. This one here looks like uh, Series 3 again. 66 Volkswagen van. Of course it's a van. Very cool. I think it's the uh, 23 window van metal rubber tires very nice um, in this series this year if you're to take it out this is a car cover for that so you can cover it up so it doesn't get uh, dusty I guess when you have it on display very cool quite like the Volkswagen stuff a little bit of information on the back there you can see the other Vehicles and you can see the other side Very very cool Again this one here was um, one I already have All right last one from Johnny Lightning is going to be the happy Valentine's Day well, That's pretty cool Volkswagen Beetle. This is a 75 Volkswagen Beetle Convertible which is pretty cool Obviously done in nice pink, white interior, very cool, and this one's the same as the other one, so has a heart detailed car cover, little body, little base, rubber tires, very cool. This one here, collect well, six, look, you can get all the days, I only have, I actually have uh, oddly enough, I have two of these ones. Um, yeah, St. Patrick's Day, Father's Day, all kinds. Very cool. So, like I say, if you're out hunting for uh, Johnny Lightning, you can you can find it. It's not, I wouldn't say it's as popular as the other stuff, but it's definitely out there if, if you like them. All right, we'll move on to some other die cast here. This stuff here is from Gearbox Toys. So, this is a larger set. This would be about a 124 scale, roughly. Um, so I've always mentioned I like the gas pumps. So this one here is your uh, Texaco, which is very cool. It features a uh, Ford vehicle. So old classic, the Texas Company. You got the petroleum products, Texaco logo. Very, very nicely detailed kind of old truck there. You can see all the detail work. You got the gold trim, Ford logo on the front. Very, very cool. So the cool set, I've looked at this set many, many times. Um, to me, it's been well overpriced. I finally was able to get someone to sell it for what I think it's probably worth. So I was quite happy to add that to the collection. So you get the pretty awesome Texaco old Ford vehicle there. You can see the detailing. I don't know if you can see it on the tires. But they do have all the, um, all the logo Goodyear. You can see it on there, but on both of them. Good year logo. Um, there's a bunch of plastic in that one as well as metal. 
But one that's pretty cool is going to be the gas pump. That's what I was looking for. Quite like the gas pump. Now I have many Texaco pumps, but this is a very cool set because that is that trucker there, or the truck piece is actually a piggy bank like most of them are. But this one here is pretty sweet, so it's got the hose there. It's the old school style, so that's actually a glass tube, all metal. Um, the Tesco part on the top is the only thing plastic. Some of them are metal. This one might be metal. It looks like it's all one piece. Oftentimes that's uh, plastic, but these gas pumps are all metal or all metal typically, and then these are actual real glass, not plastic. So very very cool, just like you would uh, see in the gas pumps back in the day. Um, so if you're if you like uh, this sort of stuff, just something to share with you guys. If you haven't seen it. Um, Gearbox makes a ton of like coin banks that are large scale gas pumps. So if you collect gas pumps or something you want to maybe get into collecting, um, they make a ton of it and it's relatively inexpensive to get it if you want. Now, there are gas pumps out there that are, are very pricey, but uh, Greenlight started making some in the last few years. You can pick theirs up, uh, not too, too bad for a price. Up next, we have the ever popular, I'm sure everybody knows what this is without even reading it. The Dukes of Hazard 1969 General Lee. So I already have one of these, but it was in very, very rough condition. Someone smashed it all up, but oddly enough, the some of the decals and stuff were actually good. So I picked it up for like 10 bucks. It was pretty inexpensive. This one here is made by Ertl, the same as my other one. Um, Ertl, if you haven't heard of them, they make very nicely detailed models. You tend to pay a bit more for Ertl. They make a lot of all the farm equipment. They still do to this day, but a lot of this stuff is a bit older. You don't see them making any cars like this, really. Um, but they do make a lot of farm equipment. And trust me, farm equipment is very expensive to collect. I mean, you can buy, you know, the big combine things. They'll be, geez, they'll be two, three hundred dollars for them. So um, that just goes to show you the quality. But this is a one twenty fifth scale, um, basically all metal body. It will be a plastic base, but most importantly is that the logos are in perfect condition. There's no marks. You can see it has the strap on there. It's never been opened. Very, very nice. was quite happy to find this. These, uh, these go for crazy money. Um, these will sell probably anywhere from $80 to $100 in this size, from what I've seen anyway. Um, I didn't pay anywhere near that. I got a good deal on it. Not going to complain. Um, it is from 2001 and it is part of the Racing Champions by Ertl. So very, very nice. But um, everybody has to, whoever collects, you got to have a General Lee. I've been trying to find one in a 164 scale. Um, but in, um, in the Johnny Lightning and all that stuff, even a 164 scale, people want upwards of $100 for just one little car so it's quite happy to find this it's a pretty sweet addition to the collection all right we want to some fun vehicles so Disney Pixar cars we got the radiator springs so here you go you got the hometown radiator springs three pack so very cool they had these uh, clearing these out at uh, Toys R Us very nice uh, vehicles. I don't unfortunately know all the names. I don't think they're. I don't think they're all on here, but uh, well, they probably are on the back. Yeah, they're real. So we got Hank Halloween. We got brand new Mater. We got Edwin Cranks. So pretty cool castings here i just actually like the vehicles they're clearing them out i had a, a coupon for some money off so why not but uh the blue is pretty cool big fins on the back of that one's pretty sweet we got the uh slammed like i don't know what it'd be a mercury or something some type of ford probably but uh very cool little set these were quite expensive uh, i think for three of these was about uh they wanted originally i think it was 20 five bucks or something like that i would never pay that kind of money for it but especially considering most people i mean i maybe there was a lot of collectors of this stuff out there but i mean they are designed for kids to actually open up play with so 
I'm sure there are collectors that just display them and whatnot, but all right, this one here I've already displayed on the channel. Um, this is just an extra one, so it's a good old Fillmore. Um, these are their Precision Series, so these you can actually pick up at the dollar store is your best bet if you can here in Canada. Um, you're going to pay probably only about four bucks for this, so these retail um, Walmart or Toys R Us probably 15-ish uh, dollars, so you can pretty much buy the entire set for 15 dollars, so. There's typically about three vehicles on these, so you get the nice little license plate there, display, it's all in an acrylic case. Nice vehicle, you got the opening door, it's a premium line, so it's nicely detailed, the packaging is very nice. If you're just looking to display it, I already have one of these on display, but uh, 164, so well, it's probably not, it's probably about a one, not quite a 143rd scale, but it's a little bigger than a, obviously a Hot Wheel there typically are though in their die cast stuff very nice All right, last piece up I got here again Disney Pixar cars this here is Lightning McQueen um, this is their mud racing series so these actually feature suspension which is pretty cool so that is pretty neat I only picked up one of these they're kind of a little bit expensive, but um, you can see the XR Racing Extreme. So they did have all those vehicles you see there, plus the Lightning McQueen. These are licensed 2018. Very, very cool. Um, if you're interested in collecting the cars lineup, these are brand new and just hitting the shelves now. You can get these at Toys R Us. Very, very cool. Packaging is actually pretty nice as well. It's kind of neat though to uh, see them with the suspension. That is uh, pretty cool. Not many manufacturers make them like that. But I will say I got this as well on sale. But um, these were I think about $10 a car. So I mean by the time you get the set you're talking well, you're talking $50 in taxes. So that's, uh, that's a bit steep if you ask me for, for a kid's car. But that's what they're asking. Alright that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm trying to get these out to you guys as fast as I can just so you can see the content. This one here is on some older stuff, um, but just want to share everything I pretty much get with you guys to see might be something you'd be interested in collecting. Um, if not, you can just see what's out there if you just want to enjoy uh, enjoy the hobby. Just uh, collect what you want, collect what you can afford, and just enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.